Okay, so as we uh, all know, uh, the, uh, of the passing of Muhammad Ali, and uh, well, what can you say about the greatest? Uh, but let me just give you a really quick uh, uh, Muhammad Ali story, if you will, because everybody has a Muhammad Ali story. He's been around for a while and he's done some extraordinary things. Uh, but before I begin, it's just just uh, just to uh, let let you know. Um, uh, because I was in the theater at a very young age, I was like 17, and I've been to the theater company I was with, the Negro Ensemble Company, I met a lot of famous people through that time, I mean a lot, you know, so it was never a celebrity struck or anything like that. But um, my Muhammad Ali story uh, goes like this. Um, I was, this was a very early 80s, and I was uh, waiting for a girlfriend of mine um, uh, to uh, get off the job. To, to get off work, and, and uh, in the waiting, I was waiting at a place called the, Ho the, the Roosevelt Hotel in Mid Manhattan, right about 40, 42nd Street, you know, to, right about the uh, uh, Grand Central area. And she worked in this uh, atrium-like bar, so I was waiting for her to get off work. And upstairs in this atrium, I heard his voice. I knew it was Muhammad Ali. But what was interesting is uh, he was slurring his words. And uh, now, I could have just walked up, you know, these steps to where he was sitting down with some people. In fact, I heard somebody even say hello to him or whatever, you know, briefly. Uh, but for some reason, I didn't do that. I just, I think what happened is I heard the slurring of his words, and I didn't want, I don't know how to say, I didn't want, uh, I don't want to say this, I didn't want to uh, be confused with an idol and, and Whatever when I say an idol, I mean I didn't want to take this uh, and, and 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 look at somebody that perhaps was was damaged. But anyway, this this was weeks, literally weeks before it was announced that he had Parkinson's disease, whatever it is, slur his words. But anyway, so um, since I guess it works like this, because since I'm an audio person, um, I detected something was not quite right, and I didn't want to meet uh, Muhammad Ali. I don't know how to say this, but when he wasn't quite the image that I re that I knew as Muhammad Ali, you know, very brash, very quick, very quick-witted, very quick-quick, um, and all the rest of that stuff. So, uh, though it may be good or bad that I didn't uh, meet Muhammad Ali in person, shake his hand or whatever, whatever you do, I think it's best because I remained, I remained, in my mind it remains that Muhammad Ali um, is, 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 for me, it's, it's an audio, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, He's audio to me, rather than, I know it sounds kind of strange, rather than physical, he's audio. Anyway, so that's, 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 that's it for me, for T, for the Patterson's Technic Tibet, let you know what I only is.